covering Nassau County this morning in two hours. The former boyfriend of a missing mother of three will face a judge. Deputies have officially named Jason G, a person of interest in the disappearance of 34-year-old Jolene Cummings. Police arrested him yesterday on a charge of violating probation. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live in Nassau County. Now the sheriff says G is not saying much about his former girlfriend. Yes, that's what the sheriff is saying, Bruce. In fact, he says Jay refused to answer any questions about his ex-girlfriend's disappearance. Instead, he said he asked for an attorney. Now, it's important to note right now, no one has been charged in connection with Cummings' disappearance. But in just about 20 minutes, G will be here inside the Nassau County Courthouse for his first appearance. Now, G does have a criminal background. Take a look at this. This is his mugshot with the Department of Corrections. He was on probation on drug charges from a 2017 arrest. That's according to court records. Now, Nassau records show G was also arrested for violating an injunction. Now, Duval County court records show he was also arrested in Jacksonville for aggravated battery as well as battery. Now, also, those same records show two people in Jacksonville have taken out domestic violence injunctions against him. One of them being a woman who says she has two children with G. Now, also look at this. This is video showing Cummings' Ford Expedition being towed away after it was found in the parking lot of a Home Depot. You can see evidence markers are there on the ground from where technicians left them. Now, deputies said Cummings was reported missing Sunday after she failed to meet her ex-husband to pick up their children. Now, five days before Cummings disappeared, deputies were called to a domestic dispute between Cummings and G, but G ran away. Now, people who know her are very concerned. Here's what one neighbor told us. With everything that was going on in their house that we heard all the time with the banging and the breaking of things, that puts a red flag up for me. I think everybody just needs to pull together and pray really hard that she comes back and she's okay. And right now, G is being held at the jail without bond. His first appearance once again is at 7.30 this morning. Now, the sheriff also said there could be other potential persons of interest in this case. If you have any information, you're asked to reach out to the Nassau County Sheriff's Office. We're live this morning. Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.